Hey, what's going on, guys? Kulach here, and welcome back into well, what was the $10 million cotton farm. Where we're going to try to make $10 million bucks on this cotton farm, starting from next to scratch. And you know what? Realistically, we're going to be doing that. Well, you know what? Let's be honest. Realistically, is a bit of a pipe dream sometimes, isn't it? But I digress. Guys, we've kind of changed things up a little bit. I mean, the $10 million is definitely within our grasp. Right now, we're sitting around a little under $6 million because... But honestly, we made an absolute ton of money in our last harvest. If you caught us live, we were minus what, like fifty thousand before the stream started? Five point eight seven five. So six million. Say just shy of six million. Yeah, you saw that right. We made almost six million dollars in one harvest. It wasn't quite that. It was pretty darn close though. So we've changed things up just a little bit. That's going to be the new goal: is to see if we can make ten million dollars in one single harvest. <laughs> We got to get through it. We've got to replant. We've got some field work to do. We got to make sure everything is tip top optimal. I'm going to spend some money today, I think, and we're going to start maybe upgrading uh, some odds and ends. And of course, we've got to replant all the fields, which will be about a million bucks by itself. So let's get out into the fields here. We're going to start with some field work. I'm going to throw some more lime down. We're going to neutralize these fields, get that pH levels just right. And, you know, like we've made a lot of fields around the main farm here. You guys can see like all the way around. This is one field that kind of wraps around our whole farm with the one laneway that goes all the way in. That's one field, guys. It's kind of crazy. I mean, look at this. Look at the size of this, this cotton field. It's huge. She's huge. Just massive. So we got to get in here. We're going to lime all these up. And I still think we made six million bucks last time. Now, I could optimize. I really could optimize these fields. Don't get me wrong, I've been thinking about that. I'm like, you know what? We could throw them just more lime down, really roll these fields out, and get that 100 125% yield on these fields if we really took care of them. That's still not going to be enough because I think we were holding about 110 to 115% yield before. So the extra 10% is not going to be enough to get us to that $10 million mark, is it? I mean, I'm no mathematician, but I, I could count that high at least, I think. Anyways, I didn't do the math before I opened my mouth. Sorry. Uh, regardless of which, we need more fields, guys. And I mean, we've got what 200 hectares, I believe it is. So we've got to add roughly a third more. So we got to find an area that's going to work out, and I think I know exactly where that's going to be. Right beside, well, this field we just limed. Yeah, there's there's a lot of room right here, guys. But you know what? We've got a whole other section. That's, well, right behind us. Yeah, there's a whole other section right behind us where we can add these together. They've already been cleaned up. All we got to do now, throw some lime down and plant away. Look at the size of this field. There's tons of space back here. This is going to be perfect. Golly, it's huge. Yeah. But before we get into the field, you can see we've got two new fields here. This is the one on the left. is already. It's already been limed. It's ready to go. The one on the right, I'm going to throw some lime down first. But there's a laneway between here as well that I want to knock down just to um, we'll make life a little bit easier for us. So we're going to clean this up. We're going to have to come probably pick some rocks, throw some lime down on this, of course, as well. But this is just, you know, a little bit of we got a little bit of pre-work to happen here. We got a little bit of pre-farming work, pre-field work to clean this up and really, you know, take out all these little roadways. I'm sorry for whoever has the property at the end of this laneway. Um, you're going to have to find some other way now. We're going to we're going to take this over. My, my bad. Anyways. This is just going to make our life a little bit easier. It's making giant fields instead of all the little broken ones up here in the county. We've got just, you know, three giant ones now. Actually, you know what? I was looking at the size here, guys. While this is a fairly good sized field, I'm not sure if it's going to be enough yet. We may have something else to talk about later on. But let me quickly cut through the this. We're going to go down to the bottom side here. We just need to get down to the far bottom. And then once we get down there, we can simply spin around and go right back up again. You can see this is the bottom. Like I said, this laneway here just kind of goes into the woods. It, it just goes down into the woods. There's a little pond down there. Whatever. No, you can't use it no more. It's my land. Anyways, we're going to go back up and clean this part up as well. But uh, oh, look at all the stones I'm getting. Man, it'd be great if it wasn't for the stones. Oh, well. We'll um, I'll take care of those right away. But I'll have a couple passes up and down here just to clean all the grass and the dirt and the weeds get this so it's ready to be farmland and then we'll we'll get into rock picking i guess this is gonna be a good sized field guys look at this thing oh, there we go rock picking time let's uh get in here we can shut the beacons off in a sec when we get in there but not a lot i mean probably what three or four passes i hope i can do this all in one load just just one simple load please it doesn't hold these things don't hold the elo does not hold a lot of rocks i'm not gonna lie 
It's but it's a long ways back. It's not a long ways, but it's a long enough way that I don't feel like taking all the rocks back to my farm. So I'll just throw these in the woods, I guess. Nah, we've got enough room. We got enough room. I'll just I'll put them here. I'll put them here. <laughs> you guys wouldn't like that. I know. We'll bring them back because eventually I can just sell these off, right? Maybe turn them into lime. That would probably be eh, whatever. How, how much lime am I really going to get from this? We'll see. Maybe we'll need it for like cement for our foundations. I don't know. Oh, we've got one more pass to make. All right, guys. So the fields, they're looking schmeh. That's not a word. So we've got to get back in and uh, we got some planting to do, or, well, some seeding to do now. And we got the old, the old school Great Plains cedar. We got our old case international should be um it's gonna work it's just it's a lot of, it's a lot guys i'm gonna i'm gonna set gertie up i think let's go into the field and we'll see if we can get this started and from there hopefully well gertie can take over once we kind of get things prepped and make sure everything's running right uh, this is a good system i love this this little cedar works great but it's a little on the small side for the amount we're going to be doing here I, at least my that's my personal opinion i know I, I, I know we could be out here all day and all night and, and seeding putting our cotton fields to, to work here but guys i think i think we might need to upgrade something i don't know we've still got another plant we got the other what the kinsey cedar as well we'll probably get that to work and we'll see how it's looking and maybe we'll discuss what our other options might be i mean we do have 4.4 million we've bought a bunch of land i still got some more stuff to tell you guys about but i'm thinking for now uh, let's just get let's just get some seeds in the ground, right? Looks pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna like Gertie fire away here. She's gonna work on this field. Maybe we'll um we'll get started the next. Who knows? We'll see how it works out. All right, Gertie, it's uh it's up to her. Let's uh let's head back to the farm. We'll let her take care of this, guys, and I'll see you in just a little bit. We'll see how she's doing. See how she makes do. She's doing her first headlands, just wrapping up right now. Looks good. Let's get to work. We gotta fill this up with fuel. We'll get this, this cedar out there. We're gonna take care of the other big field at the same time. We're, we're gonna be doubling up here. Let's go, uh, Gertie. I hope you do well. Please don't don't wreck. Don't crash the tractor. Don't get stuck. Please. You know what? I'm leaving a lot of faith in her sometimes, guys. But we're gonna go across the other side. We're gonna leave her to our own devices over here. You're gonna regret that. I'm so scared. I mean, she's made it around. This is a pretty difficult field because, like I said, we have our farm that's dead center that you got to get around. It's it's planted on both sides of us, you can see. All right, here's the new fields. We've got the one we used, harvested last time on the right, the new fields on the left. Everything's been limed. Everything is ready to rock. Uh, once again, though, we do have the one roadway down the middle here that goes down to our the cotton sell point. That's where, where we got to sell all this cotton to, which is kind of convenient in a lot of senses, to be honest. It's nice having these two big fields so close so we don't have to truck the cotton bales all the way across it's right here it takes literally no time to bring them down just gotta get them down the hill into the valley and speaking of which this hill is a lot steeper than you might think it's um caught me off guard a couple of times already but i think all the equipment we currently have has no problem with it but i am noticing guys it's it's taken us it's gonna take us a, a hot minute to get this done uh, these are big fields and we got relatively small equipment for what we're going to be doing here. I need to think about this for a second. Maybe I can get a headland. Let me let me take a look. If we maybe looked at our steel use market, is that possible? I've got still got like four point eight million dollars. I think maybe what we could do is maybe just a little bit of an upgrade. I don't know. I don't know what do you guys think. I think we should maybe do a bit of an upgrade. I think it's it's due. Maybe we should spend a bit of our wad here. I mean, yeah, this looks great. We can get through this, but. You know what would look better would be something like three times the size of this. I mean, look at the amount of field we've got to work on here, guys. We're getting through it, but holy shnikes. Um, Gertie, on the other hand, not so much. She's she's definitely taking her sweet, sweet time. Yeah, you know what, guys? Maybe let me get this field finished. We've got a couple more passes left to do here, and then we can maybe talk about maybe talk about an upgrade. Oh, look at all these stones in this field. I, I'm not getting those up, I guess. A little late now. Should have thought about that, I suppose. Should have thought about that.
Glass Field's done. Let's check on Gertie here. She seems to be having a bit of a struggle session. We're back at the farm. Around our main farm field, guys. And um, while she's getting this done, you can see there's still, well, a little bit to do over here. Uh, she's got the stuff done on the left side. She's got some stuff done up on the hillside behind us here. But the stuff on the far side of the farm still needs to be done. And you know what? I think we're going to need some new equipment to do this. Yeah, you know what? Let's get this filled up with fuel. But I think we're still going to need something new. Uh, don't get me wrong. This case has been great. The Great Plains love this setup. But I still think there's something better. I think it's time to resurrect the Steiger King, guys. Look at this. I am never going to financially recover. We've got a brand new 620, a brand new Borgo planter. It's the smaller of the two planting heads and the smaller of the uh, the, the trail cart as well, the seed cart. It's it's still going to be more than enough to plant. What we got left over here, I did spend my wad. As you can see, we're down to $2.6 million. It's so worth it, though. It's so worth it. This thing is... Yeah, this has been, um, this is pretty sweet. Let's change that screen over. It looks cool. All right, let's take this over. We're going to go up on top. I'm going to finish off this field. We still got the other big field on the far side of plant. We've got some other stuff to talk about. We've got lots of planting left to do, but we need to, uh, this is going to make my life just so much better. It's, it's just, I mean, it, it's huge by comparison. This is probably, like I said, three times the width of that Great Plains, maybe at least twice, probably more than twice of the Kinze. This is way better. So we're going to see how this may, we make do now. I am a little bit concerned. There are some steep hills. We've got the big Steiger, mind you. This is the big guy. Should be able to handle it in theory. We hope it does. So fingers crossed. I mean, the, the horsepower should be there, but this is a big, This is she's a big unit. We'll see how we make do. Let's bounce on in here. Nice and easy like. And once again, I got stones up in this section here that I continually forget to come pick. What do you do, guys? What do you do? All right, get this lined up, and um, let's get into it, shall we? I think we might as well just jump in. There we go. Uh, and once again, this is, the nice thing with this is we're fertilizing as well. The, the Great Plains we had, that one would fertilize, but the Kinze does not. The Solitaire does not fertilize at the same time. So uh, I'd have to combine fertilize afterwards with this. I don't need to worry about that. We can just set it and forget it. Let's get through this. It looks like we're just almost done the first first half i guess and i think that's gonna pretty much pretty much do it for this field really a couple of passes out here guys and i'm done this is not this is more of a test think of it that way this field yeah what was left was still significant but we've got some bigger fish to fry there's some big fields i still need to go plant yeah i spent a lot of money on this but we're going for broke guys we're spending we're going to make 10 million dollars in one harvest that's my goal right now 10 million i've never made 10 million in one harvest i don't think so 10 million bucks, one harvest. Can we do it? We're going to find out in a little bit here. We've got to get through the through the summer. We'll be, we'll be harvesting come September, October, I think. October is usually by the time our cotton is going to be ready. We've got a lot of um, a lot of stuff to get finished planting. We've got to spray some uh, some fertilizer on some of the stuff. I think they got missed. And that's pretty much it, though. I, I mean, once we get planted now with this new unit, guys, I don't need to really touch these fields. Okay, I've got a, a couple more passes left to do here. Not that much, but this is a lot more than... It. Man, it's deceiving. Totally deceiving. A couple more passes left to do. We'll, we'll get through this pretty quickly. Don't you worry. Don't worry about it. I'm not worried at all. See, there you go. Like 15 minutes later, and we're pretty much on our last pass, guys. Not bad. Slick... Oh, man. You know what? This might just be my favorite planting setup we've ever had to use. And um, the big fields we've got out here right now... They really are are utilizing this property. I could have gone one bigger. Like I said, we could have we could have gone an extra fifty thousand dollars. Got an extra. I can't remember what the size. The bigger one is. It's it's another another arm on each side. Do I need that? Probably, but it, it is a little bit extra money, right? And then you're dealing with extra turning radius. You know what? This one I think is the perfect size for this farm we're running right now. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to, to doing more with this. This is a great setup. Loving this thing. Done. I think that's it. Perfect. All right, we got to wrap this up. You know what? I think we may end up calling this. Should we call it for today? We still got stuff to work on, don't we? I think we should call it for today. I'll see you guys in the morning, all right? Let's go back home. Uh, get some brown water for the night. It's been a busy day. It's been a busy day. Oh, big oof right now. I, You know what? We're, I'm done planting for the day, I think. But I just came to the realization that, um, well, the other field I've purchased, I haven't really turned it into one field yet. 
it's still separate fields and i really need to get that done for tomorrow so that we have less work to do tomorrow got enough things to plant we got to still lime we might have to pick some rocks let's get at her oh boy i can't believe i forgot about this i need to i need to stay on this so we're over on the far western side right now and we've bought a whole bunch of fields to kind of go encapsulate one other field that we owned over here we own a smaller field we've bought in two other fields that are kind of alongside of it we're going to make these all into one giant field to kind of wrap around i think it's a stable and uh there might be a pigsty up on the corner here kind of wrap it all around there's a grocery store down at the bottom there it's a lot to take care of so we're going to make get rid of the roads first then we're on to picking rocks get rid of these stones nobody wants your stone i still got stones to pick everywhere else let's be honest let's make sure we get rid of these ones here for now shouldn't we yeah i think we should all right dump out those stones and i think i still got some time to lime oh yeah we do we definitely got some time to lime it's getting a little late a little dark out but we don't have that much to do i've got a little pass here and there but yeah i think we're good guys let's get through this line a couple passes here and uh we'll call it a day i'll see you guys tomorrow all right welcome back into march guys it's uh, it's a little chilly out but on the bright side we've got cotton plants coming up looks pretty darn good actually look at all our cotton coming up right now field looks good for the most part but yeah you can see if you if you look closely you guys can see um there's a problem we got a lot of weeds we got a lot of weeds i was like, fully unexpecting this of course we do have the john deere sprayer with the spot and spray so let's get in we're gonna knock this out we only have 37 percent in here it should be pretty close to being enough but there look at the weeds out there man there's a lot of weeds <laughs> there's a lot of weeds but in order for us to maximize our potential income with our environmental score as well as the yield I want to make sure I spray these. This is the best way to do it. For sure it is. Cheapest, really, in the grand scheme of things. We paid quite a pit, pretty penny for this um, the sprayer, of course. But it's it's worthwhile. It's going to pay itself off for sure just by doing this. And you know what? This doesn't take us all that long. We just got to get into this field and get through it. I, I don't know if we're going to need any more or not. It does look like there's an awful lot of patches of weeds as you kind of look through these fields, guys. Like, a lot of weeds here and there. A lot, of, A lot of weeds. We'll, we'll get through this it's it's just our day's work for march not too concerned about it. it this is easy work now for the most part guys we get through this and uh yeah the summer is open for us that's you know what's a pretty good deal having the summer you don't have to do any work because in the summer i'm okay with that <laughs> it's back not until like october november when when the snow's almost in the ground we get back to harvesting again but the summer i guess we're hitting the lake all summer all right before i start thinking too much about being at the lake Got one more field still to plant, guys. We've got the Borgo, we've got the, the Steiger. Everything is uh, ready to go. It needs to be cleaned up at some point, but uh, one more little bit here. Well, one more big field to plant, I guess. You know what? Great setup. This is working flawlessly so far. Yeah, I was a little worried to be too big, but so far, um, yeah, we've been able to manage on these fields and getting them around. It is, it is a bit of a pain to get it into our farm area, and we're going to have to consider that when we build that coming up. So, yeah, it's we got to make sure we leave lots of space to turn this thing around. But uh, once we get into the field with it, yeah, the, she's she's super convenient. And, uh, yeah, it's just great to plant with. So, we'll get through this. We've got several fields in this area here to plant. Now, the one over on the right there, that's not ours. But everything over to the left is ours. We're to the right now. But you guys got what I'm saying. Anyways, we're going to get through this. We've got to go down right along the roadway. Uh, make sure I don't plant onto the road and hopefully no traffic's coming. But uh, we're going to be close. I think there's some telephone poles right behind me we're going to be coming close to here as well. Yeah, th that's always... <laughs> don't hit those. Always a struggle with this thing. I haven't got the distance quite down pat with it yet. And then all the way to the back of that tree line there. Like I said, this is a good another, another good-sized field that's really going to help us get to that $10 million in harvest. I think we've got a little bit more than a third more fields. Does that make sense? A little bit more than a third of the fields we originally had so we should be roughly about 300 acres hectares something along those lines i think we had 200 before we're up to 300 now and uh that should make us that 10 million dollars i'm thinking in one harvest and then we can go and really focus on building our farm guys don't forget i still have to pay off the harvesters as well which i haven't done yet yeah that's a lot of money actually I th we're, it's least to own i think we're down to about two hundred thousand dollars on one of them but still we got eight harvesters to get up to pay for all right guys we're pushing into summer 
we've got uh, the field that we just were planting last uh, last time we're just pushing into it now let's knock all these weeds out of here and i think off the top of my head i don't think there's anything else but man i've been missing all sorts of stuff it seems like i think i've got too many things on the brain right now because we keep on missing stuff but we get this done i think this should do us until the fall like everything's fertilized everything will be herbicided uh, everything's planted now uh, i don't i couldn't even plant i can't even plant cotton if i wanted to now guys so let's wrap through this as quickly as we can so um we can maybe get to the lake for the summer i mean that would be ideal i think they get rid of all these stinking weeds though no nobody likes you weeds i'm sorry you're useless get rid of these weeds and then i think it's uh, it's time to call it for the year and uh you know what it's i think we're in a year five right now it's this will be our fifth harvest and we have potential to make 10 million dollars in only year five but well you know what we could we're definitely gonna make it over 10 million dollars if we would have just sat back not bought all the equipment not bought more fields we would have easily made 10 million dollars on the farm by year five but the fact that we're going for 10 million in one harvest now um yeah that's that's a bit of a different challenge but i think we might be able to do it still she's gonna be touch and go i think but you know just just mathing it out in my head the size of the fields the amount of cotton we're putting down there's definitely potential we can do it so there you have it uh, everything is planted everything's seeds are in the ground everything's fertilized everything's been pesticided all the weeds have been killed off this uh, i should probably do some maintenance to some of our equipment look at all these harvesters i can't believe we own it well don't, technically the bank owns these but i mean we have them in our possession we own the title to them at least right kind of kind of sort of anyways we got this we got the borgo we've we've bought a lot this year guys we've spent almost well, five million dollars on plant on equipment planting uh and land it's it's been a lot we're almost down to about one and a half mil but i think it's really starting to come together i mean look at these fields this is going to be the craziest cotton harvest we've ever done and uh really looking forward to seeing if we can make that elusive 10 million dollars in one harvest off these guys decently done uh, there's a couple spots we missed right there but you guys can ignore that but man these are big fields we got a big harvest coming up so i will see you guys in roughly like five months all right have a great summer we'll see you guys in five all right it's harvest season oh, yeah guys we got, a, we got a lot of stuff to take care of things are looking good everything's coming up clutch right now i'm telling you everything looks good we got all our harvesters taken kind of care of i did a little bit of maintenance i think i still have some fuel on some of them but i mean look at these freaking fields holy shnikes that's a lot of uh a lot of cotton you guys now not all of them are quite ready yet i mean we didn't get this field done for obvious reasons it was the last one to get planted it's not quite there but you know what if we kind of time it out we go to this one last we go to this one's up here first we'll be good to go all right guys follow me let's head over to the fields on the far side we'll come back to the one by the farm here in a bit i want to start over that away past the trailer park yeah come on onto the road Onto the road, onto the road, onto, onto, lay, onto, lay, onto the road. And uh, we're going to go start on the far side, right in the corner down, right about here. Come on in. Yep. For everyone parked here, you're good. There's room. You guys can get in here. Where's the last? Huh. Where is that last? Where is the last cotton harvester? We got one, two, three. There it is. Oh, come on. There she is. Good, good, good. Four. Good, good, good. Thought I didn't hire enough people, but apparently I did. There we go. We got all four of them here. Oh, boy. It's, uh, it's time to set up harvesting. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, you're good. You're late, but you're here. That's all that matters. You, you know what? It's it's 9 o'clock. I get it. You got to get your coffee in your first. Get in the field. Let's go. Number one on your way. Um, we've got three more to, to try and set up. Um, yeah. Let's um, yeah, fi figure it out. Yeah, you just get, get in. Come on, you two. Let's go. What? That, there we go. Good, good, good. All right. So we've got all four cotton harvesters running through the field they they got their programming mixed up a little bit guys we set up the gps on each one of them unfortunately um the last one decided to take the third one's row she's coming don't worry it's just gonna take a little bit not gonna make a difference i think it's all gonna work out i i think and now since we've got the four harvesters working on the far field let's do the the farm field the far field and the farm field at the same time We've got eight cotton harvesters running simultaneously. Simultaneously, eight cotton harvesters. This is fantastic. Get out there. Oh, yeah, you guys are doing great. Look at this. We've got... This is... Um, I'm sure there's going to be no problems. I'm sure this is going to work swimmingly, right? I think we're... We should be good. Look at them all go. 
a lot of cotton we're going to be getting. Wait till they start pumping out the bales, and I'm, I'm sure no one will crash into a bale, right? Yeah. First problem, we ran out of fuel on one of our, one of the, one of them is a little low on fuel. I just got I just got a call from it, and it's like, yeah, they we're a little low on fuel. Could you bring out some fuel? I had to buy a trailer, guys. I didn't even have a, a fuel trailer, so I, I got to fill this thing up. That's a lot of fuel. Let's fill this thing on up. There we go. In we go, please. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Fill it up. Fill it on up. Um, I think I might have a few more we're going to need to do this with, to be honest with you. That doesn't seem like it's the last of it, guys. I'm pretty sure I didn't fill all these up. But for now, we can just sit kind of uh, back and watch as they go around us. Easy. Careful. Downhill. Don't, don't crash into a cotton bale, please. We're pumping them out, guys. Oh, yeah. $10 million harvest is a go. Let's go. Looks good. I'm excited. I'm excited. Yes, man, I don't even know how many bales we're going to need, like 50, 60 bales at least, something along those lines. I mean, we've got a few. There's a few on the far side. We've got a few over here. Things are coming coming up clutch. Okay, for our next small problem, guys, this trailer, well, it does a decent job. It only holds two bales. Decided to make life a little bit easier for myself by buying a trailer that can hold three of this flat deck. We can, well, realistically hold three cotton, big cotton bales. Yeah, it's and I mean it's just a, a little bit faster to load too, which is um always good in my books. Anyways, looks good. We got three bales per load this time. Yeah, just have to take these and go drop them back down below, and then come right back on up, grab another three. It, it's a, a little bit quicker to be perfectly honest. I mean, when we're talking, you know, 50, 60 bales. Yeah, we got to get something that's a little bit easier than just picking two up at a time. I mean. You do the math on that. That's 25 trips, right? We don't want to. We don't. We don't got time for that, you guys. We don't got time for that. Not the day. Guys, I actually think we're caught up right now. I managed to catch up. There's not too many other bales just sitting out here. Oh boy, this is gonna be a little toy going through the trees here. Can, we can do this. Best driver in farm sim. Best driver in farm sim. Yeah, we got this. Just kind of cruise right on through. Oh, I could do this blindfold. No, no, no. Let's not do that. Let's just kind of sneak on through. Go to the far side. We can see uh, from the top of the hill here, hopefully, we should be able to see exactly how far they've gotten, how they're making do down in this field. The cotton, she's coming off the field pretty good, though. Right up to the end. And uh, let's, do, let's go to the far side. Yeah, look at look at this. They're all they're just starting to grab stripes of it now. Look at the amount of cotton. We're gonna know if this is awesome. Oh, boy, guys, this is... This looks like this is actually pretty good. They're working out pretty much flawlessly so far. I'm uh, pleasantly surprised on how well this is coming together. And this is like the hardest field for us to harvest because of the shape. It's a, a very strange shape for uh, for us to harvest it. And it's just working out perfectly so far. And I mean, it, it, we're making tons of money on the far side too. I mean, we came back down here and there's another four or five bales just sitting here ready for us to grab. So let me grab a couple of these bales and I will meet up with you in just, just a bit. Let's go. Harvest is going swimmingly. Look at the bales we've got here, guys. We got to, you know, we got to be the, the the best backer upper in farm sim too. We're taking that title back as well, apparently. Gotta like just kind of jackknife this trailer in. You gotta just get, get just get it just perfect. Just get it past the shed, and then you're good to go. And uh, look at this. I mean, there's not a lot of room, but you can get her in here just just nice and snug. We'll drop off these three. I don't know how many we're up to right now. I haven't I haven't been counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's like eight times like forty there. Does that make sense? It's not quite. Maybe 35 bales, I guess, something like that. Anyways, there's still lots out in the field to grab. 
Uh, I'm doing some quick math in my head. We're definitely looking good. I think we had 31 bales in the last harvest. So you know what is if we keep on trugging through this, we're going to be looking good. Um, hey, guys, guys, what, what happened? You guys are right. Come on. You just really got to do everything myself, I guess. You know what? Minus the odd little problem like that. This has been perfect, though, really. Very few issues. They've kind of figured it out. There's been uh, some interesting decisions made at times, but they still managed to get her done. You know, we're not paying a huge amount of money for these guys, so I guess what do you expect, right? But the fields, they're all coming off, so I really can't complain. One day of work and two of our, three of our biggest fields, to be honest. We have one more field left to take care of tomorrow, but these fields are all done, guys. These are all done. Look at this. Harvesters are all parked, ready to go for tomorrow, and uh, we can't do anything else. I think I've got all the work done for today. I mean, I could probably do some field work if I really, really wanted to. That doesn't really sound like something I'm going to do today. I'm not going to lie. We got time in the winter, right? We've got time in the winter. But we'll park these over here. This is over beside the last big field. We've got our four harvesters parked here. We're not bringing eight over. We can't get eight working on this. This field's too small for eight. We got four. Should be more than enough. We got our trailer ready for tomorrow. All we're waiting for, we're waiting on you, plants. We're waiting on you guys. All we need is that cotton. Come on, give me that cotton. Hopefully tomorrow we have it. So we'll see you guys tomorrow, I suppose. Everything's ready to go, guys. We're Look at us. We're so proactive. Look at that. All right. Welcome back in. It's November. She's getting cold, but it's our last field. Last harvesting chance right now. I'm going to jump right on into this. we got to get through this last field. This is our newest field, our last field to harvest. We're going to see what we got out of this, guys. It's um, looking pretty good. I mean, it's just, just like last time. Really, only maybe a little bit easier this time. We've got the four harvesters going. I can sit down here, pick the bales up as they come off. And uh, we're going to get through this. This is easy. Yep. Field's already done. Like, literally took next to no time. Less than an hour. Less than an hour we got that cotton that harvested. Uh, we got a couple bales here. I think we might have to empty a couple more of these out. I, I've still got some sitting out. But uh, let's go take the rest of these bales all the way back down. That's This is it, guys. This is the last load, I think. I don't think we have anything left in any of the har harvesters. I think I've unloaded them all. Let's go take them all down to uh, the spinnery, shall we? There we go. Spinnery's it's jammed down here. Um, hopefully it doesn't get too wet. Um, yeah, I don't really have a sheltered storage for these things. <laughs> I should have thought of that beforehand. Whatever. All right, we're just going to store these here for now, guys. Oof, get out, get out of the bale. Um, we're going to look at them all. Like, we're going to store them here and come, I believe it's February is our best sale time. So they got to sit down here for a few months. We're going to go through Christmas. We got 1.8 million bucks in the bank account still, but after we're done with this, I think we're going to have more than enough money. Let's go home. So Christmas is come and gone, and now it's time for the real Christmas as I sell these bales off. Guys, I, I wish I would have got Santa to send me a new wheel loader for this, but we're going to struggle through this with the Bassy. Yeah, you've, if you've seen it once, you've seen it a million times. Uh, the Massey's not really suited for this. This is, I don't know if I can, can I get it from the end like this? I think I can, right? I just want, I just need to get it so I can shove it. Oh boy. Um, I just need to, just need to grab it, just need to stab it and then pull it back and just kind of just drive it forward. Like that's all we need to do to move these into place. <laughs> this is going to be so painful to try and sell. Oh, you know what? I thought I was being smart by stacking these all kind of nicely, but I forgot what kind of struggle session I'm in for here. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I think we're good now. I think we might be able to get it past. Oh, there we go. See, now I got it. There we go. See, that's what I needed to do. Yeah, see, Santa should have brought Clutch a wheel loader, and we would have been fine. 1.7 million bucks. I should think I could afford that. So, that was a start. 1.7 million. Keep that in mind as we get through this. I'm going to push all these bales in there. 1.7 mil was the start. So, I'm looking for 11.7 million. Can we get to 11.7 million bucks? Come on. We need to do this. It's got, I mean, you look at the amount of bales we've got here. We had 61 bales. 61! I think we got room for more still. I think I can do more. But 61, I'm pretty impressed with that number. That's quite a, that's quite a few. Let's keep on, just push to shove. Just shove it in. Just shove it all the way down, please. Come on. Uh, the struggle is real right now, you guys. And the thing, I use this thing to load these bales for a while. Man, cotton bales, they're convenient, but they're also the biggest pain in the world. All right. Getting through the first little bit. Still got, like, look, look at how many I have back here. Um, 
Yeah, this is this is gonna be great. Oh, you know what? It, it works a little bit better if you just kind of keep them dragging. I, I got it. I had a technique down pat beforehand. Not it's not doing so good right now. We're up to three point seven million. You can see, so we've made roughly two million bucks so far. Let's uh, keep on trudging through this, going for that elusive ten million dollar harvest. Please come on. I, it, it was a mission. It was it was a goal. I had to I, we had to do a ten million bucks. One harvest. I know it. I know it's it's gonna be close. Really, the big thing, guys, you see in that environmental score, that's helping out quite a bit. $21,000 environmental score per bale, depending on the bale, of course. But that's that's a substantial amount, right? That's, that's like 10% almost of the bale. Actually, it's, yeah, pretty much right on, this, on the button. Anyways, that's a huge amount. Like, that was way more than 10%. That's almost, yeah, there you go. That's perfect. That's like almost, you know, 15% extra on that bale that we're getting because of the environmental score, because we took care of our fields. So definitely worthwhile. Coming down to the last little bit here, last bale. This is it. If I can load it, come on, get get get, get up on my forks, please. We're at twelve million four hundred dollars. Um, yeah, ten million, ten million in one harvest has been accomplished. One hundred percent, it's been accomplished. We've done it. This is uh, we're actually five hundred thousand dollars, seven hundred thousand dollars, six hundred thousand dollars over our our goal, guys. I mean, we're not hugely over our goal, but. That environmental score, like that made a huge deal by taking care of our fields. That was what put us over. If you think about it, that's 10 to 15% increase per bale. So if we didn't get that, we would not have made our $10 million goal. It would not have happened. Let's see Let's see what our, our final is here. What's our final dollar value? 12, can we get up to like 12.8? No, it's not gonna be 12.8. It'll be like 12.7, I guess. No, 12.6. There you go. 12 million, 600 bucks. Yeah, like the environmental score, 21 grand. That ain't, that ain't bad. Let's take a look. How many bales? Look, you can see the, <laughs> how much we sold. Oh, man. We're losing money all over the place until this month. The actual sold bales was only 9,600. The environmental score, 1.2 million. Like I said, guys, that environmental score is really what set us above uh, the, the bar to, for $10 million harvest. 10 million and 900,000. That is, um, that's not bad. Now, I still have about 4 million bucks on the harvesters. I believe I need to repay so take that for what it's worth. Let's take a quick look at our fields. You can kind of get a, a little bit of an idea. I think I'm going to reset the analysis on all these fields later on. So we have a little bit better idea of what we're getting off of them. Because now that they're all set up and good to go, I think I can reset the analysis and we'll be good to go. I think. Right? Ah, fingers crossed. Anyways, um, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. If you made it to the end of the video, of course, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, ring the bell. So you don't miss any other future videos coming out here on the channel as we need to build now we need to build a brand new farm now the 10 million dollar harvest and, and farm has been accomplished it's time to build the farm itself so join me for that and then later on i hope you guys enjoyed the video drop a like on your way out of course don't forget to subscribe and i will catch you guys in the next one have a great day folks and we'll see you then this is clutch from the 10 million dollar cotton farm over and out